Hi, this is David Dusek, Senior Writer with Golf Week Magazine. Welcome to this week's edition of Ask the Expert, the place where you get to ask me anything you like about golf equipment and what the guys are using on the PGA Tour. The game's best players this week are in St. Andrews, Scotland, the home of golf, for the 144th playing of the Open Championship. And a lot of people have been asking me, what's the difference between the heel-toe-weighted cavity back irons that I see a lot of players putting in their bags and using off the tee and the true new-style driving irons that many other players are putting into their bags? Here's the deal. Because the wind is so strong and the fairways are so fast over there um, on the Lynx courses in Scotland and in England, a lot of players prefer a much lower ball flight off the tee in many cases. So the fairway woods, the five woods, they're coming out. Hybrid clubs, again, sending the ball too high on a launch angle. Uh, putting in a heel-toe weighted cavity back iron is going to create a much lower launch angle. A lot of players who are iron savvy, really are good iron players, prefer the look of the thinner top lines that they're going to get. They go with the heel-toe weighted um, cavity back irons. For example, Ricky Fowler is putting in a Cobra Fly Z Plus 3 iron um, this week. Paul Casey plays almost all the time with his Nike VRS forged three iron. Sometimes that club comes out of the bag for an extra fairway wood, um, but he's going to be most likely going with that club this week. Adam Scott um, recently has been adding a Titleist 714 AP2 to go along with his Titleist forged 680 irons. Those players like the thin top line, the control they get, the little bit of... Um, assistance basically with the heel toe weighting a little bit of extra forgiveness that those kind of clubs offer them now other players are going to be adding true driving irons which are essentially hollow body construction in some ways bringing hybrid style uh, hybrid technologies into an iron like shape they have a slightly wider sole maybe a little bit thicker top line that doesn't really fly with some people they like the classic thing lines but off the tee many players really seem to like the extra ball speed that the hollow body constructions give them again most of these have a flat face so they can control them in terms of um, trying to flight them left or right they have a touch higher ball flight perhaps maybe than that cavity back heel toe weighted stuff that the other players are using but still much lower certainly than a hybrid club or a fairway wood, but again, the added ball speed is what they're really after. Some of the players putting those in, Louis Oosthuizen, look for him to have a Ping Rapture 2 iron in his bag. Um, Jason Day, going with the tailor-made UDI um, irons, uh, he'll probably add one, maybe even two of those things. Jason Day plays quite often with driving irons in his bag. Additionally, JB Holmes likes to play a Tour Edge Exotic CB Pro H driving iron, a 3 iron in his case. Brendan Grace also has been known to put in an 18-degree Callaway Apex UT. So really it comes down to player preference. They definitely need something that goes lower than a hybrid club or a fairway wood. They're looking to get ball speed, and it just becomes a matter of personal preference. How much iron-like performance do they want? How much sort of maybe hybrid-like extra ball speed are they looking for? If you've got a question you'd like to ask me, the expert, please feel free to email me at ddusek at golfweek.com or hit me up on Twitter at at golfweek underscore Thanks a lot, and I look forward to seeing you soon.